All right, update on Uniswap. So uh, we made a video on this, I think, you know, two days ago or a day or so ago. And, you know, I said, in my opinion, it looks like we're about to break below the 618. And if we did break below the 618, in my opinion, we would be coming down to 714. Now I get 714. If I just zoom out and flatten this data, you can see it's not a FIB. It's not a extension target or anything. It is basically just this previous high. Yeah, uh, basically the first micro high we put before we started going in this uptrend. Now we've lost the 786 over here, so you know we're pretty much below every macro support. Well, now I, I take it back, we are below every macro support. We need to be above 618, 786 is where we really, really would have wanted to hold. Uh, 200 day moving average as well. I mean, we would want to be above there before we can even say that you know we're we're breaking bullish or breaking market structure. So in my opinion, until we do get above this 618 here, you know this would basically mean as well that we would have finally gotten above the 200 day. Then I personally would not be bullish in the short term for Uniswap. Now I am bullish on this in the long term. Uh, I don't hold any, but because you know I actually prefer that a lot of other altcoins over this. I think other altcoins have better risk adjusted returns and higher returns to be made but specifically in the short term for uniswap you can see we've basically broken every fib so your last levels are really the start of this uptrend and uh this green line here if we lose either of these green lines well if we lose this first green line the only other place that we've got to come down to is three dollars if we then lose three dollars there's literally nowhere else for us to go apart from two dollars and then pretty much zero so uh, obviously I'm hoping that doesn't happen either way it doesn't really affect me because I don't hold Uniswap but you know I would like all of the altcoins to start doing well because you know that would mean that the markets are turning around as Bitcoin looks like it wants to break below this trend line I would personally not be entering any altcoin positions right now as I do believe a lot of these altcoins are going to become cheaper priced against Bitcoin so I mean so far it's down 3.4% today and you know Bitcoin is only down uh, two two and a half percent. So uh, I will be sitting on the sidelines holding Bitcoin expecting this to keep on breaking down now We expected this 21% drop a while ago and you know, we've already come down about nine percent So in my opinion this seven dollars is really the last line in the sand that I personally would want to see hold because uh, if we do break below seven the only place we really have to bounce is a 27% drop and then if we lose that you know we're basically coming all the way down 58% uh, 70% so really I think you know the risk adjusted returns of just dollar cost averaging in this right now in my opinion is not worth it I will be sitting on the sidelines until we do make a market reversal we are obviously macro bearish I do just have you know some very basic BS uh, trend line here, basically a line of best fit. I mean, it doesn't necessarily line up too, too well, but you can see, I mean, there's plenty of touch points on it, very much valid while we are below it. You know, this is bearish and do bear in mind, you know, we have been in this descending triangle for a very long time and we have literally only just broken below it, retested it, broken below, you know, kind of retested it and now we're heading down. So in my opinion, you know, th this is a conservative target down here at, you know, $7 and then once again, 550. I think if we don't hold these, then like I said, we, we will be having absolutely, you know, catastrophic drops from now, you know, we could potentially see another 75% drop. And, you know, I'm not saying that's going to happen. I'm saying uh, we need to hold $7. If we don't hold $7, there's no other way that you can really slice this. We're going to be falling at least 25% from there. After that, you know, we've got like 60% and 70% drops incoming. So like I said, we really need to hold, you know, this green line down here at seven. If we don't hold it, it's going to get very, very ugly. And, you know, what's also worrying is that the RSI is coming down and it still has a ways to go down. And the money flow indicator is, you know, pretty much stuck at the 50 level right now. So the money flow could either explode to the upside or the downside right now. In my opinion, it is getting ready to kind of go down. And, you know, if we kind of do start heading down, then, you know, you could probably see a drop to at least 543. But keep your eyes on 7, 715. That's your last line in the sand. Personally, I'm not buying any altcoins right now, um, or at least not any new altcoins. I wouldn't be looking to buy Uniswap for, for, for quite a while until we do at least 
put in you know a, a very convincing you know bottoming structure whether that's something like this you know a nice retest here maybe come down put in a higher low something like that i would need to see you know a, a bottoming signal before i even consider you know entering this uh, this coin as you know in the long term it is very much bearish to the downside uh you know in in years to come i'm sure you'll be fine if you do hold this obviously not financial advice but you know in the very short term it is looking very worrying so that is all i see for uniswap best of luck if you're holding this once again none of this is financial advice this is just my opinion on the market and you've always got to do what's best for you peace